Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a very special birthday gift for my friend Jessie. So obviously we are all in quarantine and tomorrow is my friend Jessie's birthday. I met her in my acting class and she is so lovely, so wonderful beautiful, talented, she loves Disney, she especially loves The Little Mermaid, so I was thinking that I would make her some Little Mermaid Mickey ears, because I know she's very disappointed that she wasn't able to go back home to Texas to see her family for her birthday like she had planned, and you know, I think that bringing a little bit of Little Mermaid magic, Disney magic to her tomorrow is going to be just wonderful. So my plan is to make some ears. If I have time, I'll try to make her a Little Mermaid face mask too and a Pokemon one for her boyfriend because I know that he liked the Pokemon one. I was showing them all the face masks that I made for my dad. And um, I might even make her some Mickey waffles. <laughs> I'm not, I have so much batter left over from Easter and I bought a Mickey waffle maker. So um, maybe some vegan Mickey waffles too. So um, just follow along because it's going to be a gift giving video, but let's go ahead and jump into how we're going to make these Little Mermaid Mickey ears. All right, let's jump into these ears. So first I'm just going to grab some supplies. I got purple flowers, I got some blue flowers, and we're going to go for a floral wire design. Um, that's my favorite way to do aerial ears personally. I also don't like to do the bright green. I like to do more of the mint blue. I think it looks prettier. And then I've got a little aerial button. I've got a little Sebastian button. And I have a little flounder button, which was really hard to find for some reason. Um, he was eluding me in my buttons drawer. Then I've got some pearls that we're gonna add over to some sheer fabric. We've got wire to make the ears. I've got my headband, I'm gonna go with a nice blue. Then I've got this beautiful sheer fabric that I love that has little gold sparkles and pearls in it. So we might not even need the extra pearls, but they're just in case. Let's go ahead and dive into making the structure of these ears. So to build the structure, we're gonna go ahead and take our wire and then we'll wrap it around a circular shape. So I use the same thing every single time I have this container here, but you can use a candle, you can use a container like mine, whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna snip it at the end with my wire cutters, leaving a little bit of extra space there on the wire, um, just to make sure I can wrap it around my headband. So once you've got that, just go ahead and repeat, and then we'll go ahead and start to wrap it around the headband base. So just give it a nice and tight squeeze. You can tighten that with the wire um, cutters as well. But I've got both of those on there nicely. Now I can go ahead and move on to our next step. So now I'm gonna grab my fabric here and I'm gonna lay it out and I'm gonna cut out two little squares that I'm gonna use to cover the wire ears. So you want this to be a little bit bigger and I like to do a technique um, where I kind of pull it all to the back here. So I'm measuring just to make sure I have enough fabric. So I don't want it to be the exact size of the ear, which I do do sometimes, um, but I want to have a little bit of extra room so that I can kind of um, make it a little bit looser and create a little bit more um, texture with the fabric. So once you've got that cut, just go ahead and start to kind of shape it around the top of the ear. So I'm just kind of seeing what I like, the way it's looking. And then once I've got it to a point that I feel like I have the desired um, look for the end, I'm gonna go ahead and start hot gluing um, a center point. So I'm kind of like pulling all of it into the same place in the back and then hot gluing that place down. And I'm gonna have to go in and hot glue a bunch of little pieces just to make sure that it, it looks the way that I want it to. Um, but that's pretty much all going back to that center point. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a similar shape by taking the fabric and finding a center point. Um, and then once I have that securely on there, hot glue that right in there, I'm gonna go ahead, grab my little scissors here, and then I will just do a little bit of a snip snip with those extra um, overflowing fabric pieces. And then once you've got all of those cut off, you can just go ahead, take your hot glue gun again and just clean it up a little bit. So, and I do use my um, tweezers a little bit to help me if I'm trying to like push fabric down without burning my finger, that can be very helpful. 
but in the end we're gonna have this really nice um, kind of like thick but also sheer look and don't worry about the back because we're just gonna cover it with flowers so let's go ahead grab our flowers here I grabbed a couple of different um, flowers than I originally had grabbed but I wanted to do something with this purple flowers here um, I just feel like they have a, a really nice kind of shape to them and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and place it right over the front of my headband um, and I think it's gonna be really awesome so I'll just go ahead cut a little piece and then I'm gonna hot glue this on piece by piece to make sure that it sticks down uh, nice and flat Now that we've got the purple flowers on there, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my mint green roses. So I'm just gonna do those one at a time, a little bit of hot glue in the center and press them down. Starting with the one in the center helps me make sure everything is equal. Let's flip her around. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the purple flowers on the back. So I'm gonna actually end up cutting this into two smaller pieces and I'm gonna weave it a little bit into the front to make sure that I have a point that's covering the headband right there in the center so it's really secure and it's also gonna wrap around to the front. So it's kinda like we're hugging the ears um, themselves as opposed to trying to like put a, you know, a longer branch of flowers that maybe would be like more in your hair. We're gonna try to make sure that it's as onto the headband as humanly possible because that's really what's gonna help secure it. All right, now that that looks really good, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn her around and we're gonna add some of my favorite embellishments, these cute little Disney buttons that you can get at like any craft store. There's actually a website that I'll order them in bulk from um, that I really like to use Shelly's buttons. I'll go ahead and add that in my description down below. But I'm just gonna add Ariel on one side and then I'm gonna add Flounder and Sebastian just to make sure we all know that these are Little Mermaid ears. And that is the final product. Really sparkly and really fun. All right, so I'm not gonna go into full detail because I have a whole other video about how to make masks that you can watch. I'll add uh, that at the end of the video so you can catch up if you need to. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use this light purple fabric. I don't have any aerial prints, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna have to go more with her color scheme, which I think is gonna be prettier in the end. So I have my little pattern piece, I'm putting it onto my fabric and I'm just gonna cut out the shape of the body of the mask. So we have that in this nice light purple. And then I decided to go with, for my strips of fabric, a little bit of this shiny green that I got. I think I got it around Christmas time. It has like gold undertones and it's really pretty. Um, I wish I had some sequin green, which I know I have somewhere, but you know, you can't have it all. And then for a boyfriend, we're just gonna go ahead and use the Pokemon print uh, because that is the one that um, I showed her over <laughs> a Skype call and he said that he thought was actually pretty cool. So um, we're gonna make him a little Pokemon mask as well because I know that that will be helpful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew these bad boys together. I'm just doing the first stitch. So this is just to um, make sure the main piece is sealed and I'm gonna flip it inside out there. Do the same thing with the Pokemon mask as well. Honestly, I can't believe that I just learned how to use this sewing machine a week ago. You know, if you put your mind to it, you can do it, y'all. Um, so for the Pokemon mask, I am having to sew it on both sides of the fabric just because I did not have enough Pokemon print to fold it over. So I'm just doing that real quick, folding it um, front ways. I sewed that in the inside outside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add on my strips of fabric here to be the ties. And what I'm actually using is the same fabric that I used for the aerial mask, but I just turned it inside out. So now it's like this nice dark green that goes a lot better with the Pokemon print. Um, I was looking to try to find more of like a blue or a yellow, but I just didn't really have the right color number one in a, in a length of fabric that was long enough so that I wouldn't have to put two ties together because I really hate having to do it in like four strips. I'd much rather just do 
a really long two strips instead of trying to come up with four full little strips and sew them together. So I was lucky that that ended up working out. So now I'm just gonna take the mask and give it a sew all the way down the strip, all the way into the mask, and that's gonna can I connect it, and then we are going to be good to go. And it is honestly such a bother to make the ties like this, but apparently the elastic ones can be pretty uncomfortable after a number of hours. So um, apparently this is better. So that makes me happy that I am spending all this time making these <laughs> very long ties, um, but all for a good reason and hopefully to be more comfortable and people will want to wear them more. So we're just gonna do the same thing with aerial mask here, looking good. Just the other side of the fabric, nice and shiny. And then all we have to do is pleat. So I pleated with the iron and then I just sewed it up on the front and then I sewed the pieces um, on the back a little bit just to make sure we don't have any extra little things hanging off. And that is the mask. Okay, so Jesse's present is done. We have the ears, which I think turned out so cute. I love them, beautiful. Um, so I'm so excited to deliver these to her. So we'll wrap those up. And then I've also got the little mermaid face mask. I have to snip a couple of things here on the side. And then also I've got the Pokemon one for her boyfriend. So um, we're gonna put these in a little present box and then make some Mickey waffles really quick. And then we'll head on over and deliver them to Jesse for her birthday. Lucky for me, I actually bought some present bags and wrapping paper at the dollar store like right before quarantine happened. So I had a couple of different uh, bags to choose from. So I went with purple because I felt like we were sticking with our aerial theme. We're currently struggling to make these Mickey waffles. The first one did not turn out great, but we're gonna give it a whirl and try one more. Goodbye, Mickey. All right, that's the best of you could do. <laughs> He lost a little bit of his ear, but it's a thought that counts, right? On our way to Jesse's house. Well, I would say that this gift giving was very successful. Jesse loved the ears, she loved the masks, and she even liked the Mickey waffles, which turned out just okay. I really need to get more spray, um, but I have not been able to go to the store yet this week, so obviously, I need to work on that. <laughs> but let me know if you guys are interested in these gift giving videos. I love giving gifts. Um, it is really one of my favorite things to do. And I love making personalized gifts. Jessie's really easy because she, I already knew that she wanted an Ariel face mask. Um, and I know that she loves Ariel and Disneyland. So I knew that she would love a pair of Ariel ears. And that's something that I really do well. So that was easy for me. But with other people, I've, I definitely have to think more outside of the box to come up with something that they're gonna really love. And oftentimes Photoshop, you should place a part in it, so. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, but until then, stay sparkly. Bye-bye.